All right, guys, welcome back to the Hashtag Academy Second Chance Series. This is the final, it's the big one. We're here at Fulham FC's training ground and we're about to see two teams go head to head. One team managed, captained and featuring Izu. The other team being managed, captained and obviously featuring Joshua Asude. So it's Asude versus Izu. It's the raw pace of Asude versus the, the dominating centre-back that is Izu. Only one of them can win the series. I've seen a few comments from you guys saying things like, oh, this is really just to see who wins the prize money because they're both going to play for hashtag anyway. Let me say, that's definitely not the case. So it's ultimately down to Dev. Yes, there might be some boys from the, the series that are invited to trial and play in pre-season games and whatnot, but there also might not be. Winning this series is the only way to guarantee you play for the hashtag United first team. So in this final, first thing we're going to see is Asude and Izu pick their teams. Okay, They've got a pick between hashtag academy first teamers and some of the boys that have been eliminated earlier in the academy process who have come back to play one last time. In terms of Josh and Izu, we haven't actually seen them play football in a while to be fair. It's been about a month I think since the Hashtag United team went up against the Academy boys. So it's going to be good to see them go head to head on this beautiful pitch. Let's remember what they're playing for. It's a £5,000 contract with Hashtag United where they're going to get to play in the league. Obviously how much they play will very much determine on, on what they do going forward from winning this series. And that's not it. The winner is also going to get an Adidas Glitch ambassadorial package. They're going to get kitted out with the best boots and basically treated like a professional footballer, which is an amazing prize. There's also a prize for one of you guys watching. If you head over to the Glitch app and you watch the behind the scenes exclusive content that goes along with this final episode and you like it on the app, one of you is going to get a Glitch starter pack, but make sure you've got your notifications turned on. That's how you find out if you've won. And that's not all. We've added a third prize to the equation for the final winner. They're going to get to go to France for the FIFA Women's World Cup final. Unbelievable. They're going to get to go alongside our very own Theo Baker and Lewis Preston, as well as professional player Carla Humphrey. Right, this trip is thanks to Visa UK, so very a big thank you to them and all they've been doing with the women's game and helping it grow. Now then, on with the final. Let's go chat to the boys. Okay, it is time for the boys to pick their teams. Now, lads, this is a really important part of the process for you guys because it's an opportunity not just to show your nous when it comes to picking teams, building teams, but also your knowledge of the existing hashtag players as well as your fellow academy applicants. Okay, we've agreed already off camera that you're going to have first pick of the goalkeepers and it's going to rotate, you'll get first pick of the defenders. So, Izu, it's easy with the goalkeepers, you've got a choice of two, Jacko or Louis Lawler? I'm going to go with Jacko. You're going to go with Jacko. Okay, so Jacko joins your team and that means you've got Louis no choice needed there who would you like as your first defender <clears throat> Jack Harrison Jack Harrison joins Josh's team okay over to you sir I would like Stampy Stampy joins Izu okay Tom Willow Tom Willow Williams I'm going Lewis Buchanan Lewis Buchanan so I'm guessing that is your okay so technically you've got three centre backs in there now you're aware of that yeah yeah who would you like Josh yeah, Sean Alexander okay I'm guessing you need some full backs now yeah I'm going to go with um Jack Martin. Jack Martin, okay. If you're not familiar with Jack, he was part of the trial uh, process. He wasn't able to commit to future episodes because of unavailability, but he impressed Devs. He's been invited to be in pre-season and obviously he's impressed Izu as well because he's joined his team. I'm going to go for Carlos Ospina. Carlos Ospina is going to join Josh's team, which means you're going to get Joe DeBell, okay? So that is your defence sorted. Midfield. Uh, Charlie Morley, please. Harry Honesty. Harry Honesty is joining Josh is size. So you've got the pace. You've got the pace. Are you worried? Not really. <laughs> Who are you going with next? Um, can I get Ricky Evans? Ricky Evans, the enforcer. Um, Lee Hersett. Lee Hersett. I would like Bertu Sehan. Bertu Sehan. Ross Gleedy. Gleedy is in the mix for Josh's team. Okay. Over to you, Izzy. Uh, Hussein Isa. Hussein Isa, aka Tekka's Guru. Albi Keith. Albi Keith? Yeah. Uh, Dugan. Dugan, another academy player. Theo Baker. Theo Baker. Okay, two players left, Samraj Gill or Wes Tanser? Um, Samraj Gill, please. Okay, Gill is joining your team, which means Josh, Wes Tanser, he's going on your side. So we're nearly there, guys. Over to the strikers now. Who'd you like? Neil Richo Richmond. He's going to go with Richo. I'm taking George Smith. Smith. George Valentine. Valentine, which means you're going to get Falola. Right, the lads have got their teams. You've got a little bit of uh, room for movement. I think you've got three subs on each side. You can have some coaches help you do those in game, but feel free to manage it however you want. Best of luck, lads. Let's have a shake of hands, please. Excellent. What are you expecting to see today? Um, 
it'll be interesting. I'm except, obviously, I'm expecting them to see them both give their best. Um, hopefully, the game will give them both plenty of opportunity to showcase their strengths. This time, last time round, how are you feeling going into this game? Pretty nervous, not going to lie, because um, it's the biggest stage of them all, the final. Um, you just got to just got to take it all in and then um, just try and do your best in this. But that's that's what I try to do. Just try and relax as much as possible under the circumstances and just just enjoy the game in, in the end. Is your mind already made up? No. Um, it's still really open. Uh, I think there's been uh, swings throughout the, the process where both the guys have come to the fore. There's been um, parts of the process where I think they've not done as well as maybe they would have hoped uh, or even I might have been expecting after a, a previous performance. Um, so no, it's, it's, it's really open. What advice would you give either Josh or Izu right now? Um, as captain, just be a leader, sort of show your presence on the pitch as that's like what Devs is that's going to be looking for. Um, teamwork, especially. Although you're in the spotlight to show what you got you've got to also be a team player and if the pass is on or stuff like that just take control of the game josh your team's picked you mentioned that you're excited why so um i've made it to the finals so i'm here for a reason and i want to show it on the pitch now you seem to be happy with your team selection give me a couple of players that you're actually happy with that you're really happy with picking that you're really excited to play with um i'm really excited to play with harry honesty um the fans want to see it and i want to see it so hopefully that's um, a good link-up play. Izu, you've made it to the final, you've picked your team, you're here now kitted up. Are you confident you're going to be able to win this game? Pulling on the hashtag jersey, I can feel the victory. I can feel it. You know he's wearing a hashtag jersey as well. Don't worry about them, we got the home team. We're, we're the more important ones. <laughs> are you liking your team? Who are you looking forward to playing with? Yeah, no, I'm liking my team. I'm just looking forward to playing with everybody, really. Getting to know the hashtag boys, so obviously playing with them, playing, playing with more of them for the first time. So build that little chemistry and um, yeah, see how the game goes. Hopefully get the win. All right, boys, I want to first of all congratulate you all for working onto the winning team. We're going to play 3 5 2. The thinking there is they've got obviously quick wingers in Harry Honesty and in Joshua Sude. So I want my wide men to make sure you force them inside. Yeah, boys, obviously it's an important game for me. But obviously, it's uh, 90 minutes for you guys. Get some minutes under your belt in pre season. Obviously, improve. Impress the, to the gaffer and show him that you want another place in this team. Yeah? So let's go. Let's get it, boys. Let's go. I'm not going to tell you guys how to play. You guys know how to play already. Um, all I'm going to say is have fun, uh, work hard for each other, and hopefully we come out with the win. Come in, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a massive game here in the Hashtag Academy Series. It's the last game, the last chance you're going to see our two finalists play, Izu and Asude. I'm delighted to be joined by my brother Seb for this game. Seb, we've had some huge games in Hashtag United history. Too many to name already, but what I want to know is how big is this game in the kind of canon of Hashtag Folklore? Okay, this is a massive game. What I would say is is is, a, is important to remember is it's not necessarily for the result. True. Today's a very big game for a number of reasons. Obviously, we're going to find out in just a very short time who is our winner of this year's Academy Series. But today, let's not forget, this is the beginning of a pre-season segment going into our stiffest challenge yet. A newly promoted side. Devs is here not just to pick a winner. He's looking at the boys who's come back in good shape. Someone's got to try and get into this team. It's an opportunity for the lads to stake their claim for the shirt, integrate themselves into the squad. Um, I'm very, very excited. As am I. A bit of team news for you. Since doing the picks and building the squads, we've had an injury in the warm-up. Marcus Stamps had to pull out. Mm, uh, so uh, Izu's lost himself a player. We've pulled out Wes Tanser as well, who was a late replacement anyway for Josh's side. So they've got the even numbers again. A little bit of reshuffling for the boys. But should we take a look at their starting 11? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so starting off with Izu's team, he's opted for a free at the back formation. So he's got Jacko in goal. His three centre-backs are Lewis Burkane from the academy. Izu himself, of course, captain for this team. And Ricky Evans has been moved back to replace the injured Marcus Stamp. In terms of wing back, he's got Jack Martin, who's a player you'll see more of, I'm sure, who's been pulled out of the first Academy trial, was unable to take part in the other episodes, but Devs likes the look of him. Right wing back, we've got another Academy player, Dugan. So we've got a lot of Academy boys in the Izu team. Centre mids, though, it's two hashtag originals. Isa, aka Tekka's Guru, with Charlie Morley. Ahead of them is Bertu Sehan. And up front, new signing George Smith, alongside wonder goal extraordinaire, Falola. On the bench for Izu is Samraj Gill and Joe DeBell. 
Now moving over to Joshua Asude's team. He's got the new goalkeeper, Louis Lawler. Is he auditioning in front of Devs here, you could say, for a chance to, to be signed ultimately? He's got a flat back four, Tom Williams and Jack Harrison there with much experience alongside the youngster Sean Alexander from the academy process. And Carlos Espina has been called back to play right back. In centre mid, he has got Ross Gleed and Lee Hersit. Ahead of them is uh, Triple H on the left, Asude on the right, that's pure pace. In the middle of them, Theo Baker up front, Neil Richo Richmond, top goal scorer last season. Four hashtag on the bench, Albie Keith who was a latecomer, maybe that's ruled him out of starting, alongside George Valentine. So lots of pace in the Joshua Asude team. You could say it's a battle of experience at the back versus pace going forward. Who will win the game? Who will win the contract? Let's find out. Got Izu wearing the hashtag United home kit today and Joshua's team is in the hashtag United away kit. It's actually the same away kit that Fulham used last season uh, at Fulham. Here we go, we're underway. Kicked off by Theo Baker. It is... The dark blue Joshua Asude side. We'll call them Josh FC versus Izu FC for today. It's been one of those guys that divided opinion throughout the academy process. Someone that I think we all wanted to see do well, but just couldn't quite turn in the performance he needed to. He's we got another chance in front of Devs today. We couldn't really convince ourselves what position he was. His no. versatility almost working against him. Good turn here from Richo against Izu. And Asude, Asude, sorry, could be through. He's taking the ball wide here. Put it in. Ooh. And it's hit the side netting. But what's perhaps more interesting than Josh's incident there is Richo turning Izu in the middle. Yeah, that was interesting, but we just saw the first glimpse of that pace that is Joshua Asude. He gave up a few yards of Ricky Evans, who is, to be fair to him, filling in out of position today at a third centre-back. Looking to find Josh, who's changed wings here. He's got the ball on the left, up against Joe DeBell here. He's on it right back here. Harry Honesty getting involved. Plays over to Ross Gleed on the left foot, hits it! Side-footed, wide. And we saw there what uh, Joshua Asude said in the last episode, he said the thought of him and Triple H teaming up on opposite sides of the wings, an absolute danger. We saw them both on the same wing there. You wouldn't want to be up against those two, for pay, that's for sure. A spinner with the ball and time. Finds a Sude. Looking for that one too. This is where he could be dangerous. He's got space. Can Josh find end product up against Izu? He's done it for pace. He delivers it in. Oh, no. Theo Baker and another chance. And it's been cleared by Joe DeBell, but that was the first time we've seen the two finalists against each other. And you have to say Josh won that battle. He definitely did. I thought he'd hit it too far in front of him, but that was just him back in his pace. He's been absolutely robbed of an assist there, but I think it was Lee Hersett. Theo Baker tried to follow up and take care of the scraps, but what an incredible piece of play there from Joshua Asude. We haven't got benefits of a replay here. It was either Richo or Lee Hersett. I think Richo said things Lee. Either way, it should have gone in. Corners come in here. Header for Izu. Chance. Oh, and it's been a... It's a goal. It's a goal for Izu. It's got over the line. We have no goal line technology here, but the ref has given it. We know that's a threat of Izu. He's winning these headers, particularly from set pieces. And he's won that one, Seb, and he's got the goal. From centre-back, I was sitting there thinking Izu's going to struggle to get himself into the game from centre-back. But he's managed to do it. He scored a goal. We do not have the ability to see a replay. I would love to see that. You can only think across the line. Last time they, the uh, Yellows had a corner, they got a goal. Taking it short. Isa delivers it in. Back post. Looking for Izu once again. Header across. Louis Lawler with the foot save. Sean Alexander clears it. Charlie Morley flies at that one. Asude, what can he do now? As he gets the ball down and he runs. This is what he does. He's dangerous. And he's still Asude. Ricky Evans gets across. I mean, it's like, it's just like a wrecking train that can't be stopped. Effectiveness is exactly the word. You know, you're going to... Oh, hang on, what's happened here? Oh, Louis Burkane here with an opportunity. And I think he might give away a penalty here. He has. He's taken a heavy touch. Triple H has pounced on it and he's taken him down. This is going to be interesting because Asude surely has to take it. If he takes it, we've got a goal for each of the finalists. If and he, if he scores it. If, I mean, he's going to go. He's going over to the ball, which I'm glad to see. Joshua Asude to make it one all, both in the team score and the score between Izu and Asude. And he's hit the post. He's missed the target there. And... That's not ideal for him. I've got to be honest, it wasn't a very good strike. I saw him fidgeting a little bit as he was about to take his run-up. He didn't look overly confident, but what's more important than anything now is how he reacts. He cannot dwell on that. He's got to come out fighting, put it out of the back of his mind, and carry on playing like it was before. Headed away by Lewis Burkane. Wants to put that penalty concession up behind him. Well, he's got away with it now, hasn't he? He's got away with it. He can forget about it. 
Izu against Asude there. Izu wins the header and the foul. A little bit of extras on that one, maybe. Josh letting him know he was there. Can he pick out the aerial threat that is Izu as the ball comes in? Looking for Burke. Great save from Louis Lawler. Needs to follow it up. Chance. Oh, it's still loose. Izu. And now clearance off the line from Sean Alexander. And another one. Charlie Morley's shot denied by a thinker. Lawler save. Quite a few chances to score there for the Yellows. Lawler's done a bit to redeem himself there if he was at fault for the earlier goal. But that could have been two for Izzo. What a start that would have been. Dugan trying to get it in. It's a low cross though. Richo cuts it out. Theo Baker with the Sude to his right. He's got to play him. He does. The Sude once again with the chance to punish. He's in acres of space here. Izzo comes to close him down. He takes that responsibility on himself every time. And Josh's pass is cut out by Bertu Sehan. Richo recovers it though. Lee Hurst it over to Triple H who won the penalty. He's not done much more in this game. He puts it across. Jacko catches it. Jacko deals with them all day long. That was interesting. Izu come over to uh, Shepard Josh there, who probably did the right thing in playing it back. Wasn't quite good enough quality of pass, though. Here's the ball. It's across the goal. Headed away. Sude, always there to counter on these. If you notice, when the ball spilled, he's straight on them, and he's running at speed. Oh, my God. And he God. beats Joe DeBell for pace. And it's still a Sude. Can he get the end product? Can he get a oh. shot off? Big tackle from Ricky Evans. <laughs> I mean, it's just absolutely electric to he, watch, He gets isn't the it? ball quite deep in his own half and he ends up in their box. Ball in. Back post. Izu had to clear and he did. I'll tell you what, he's done well to get out for a throw there on that angle. Very well indeed. Izu trying to switch it over to Dugan who gets there. Controls it well. Trying to flick in George Smith, who's onside. George, can he pull it back to someone? He's got Falola at the back post, who's going to get there. He's got Jack Martin in acres of space on the left. We know that Falola looks to shoot. He does eventually find Jack Martin. Can he deliver? Ball in on the left foot. It's, oh, you know what? This is a good area. Ross Glee getting forward here for the Blues. Looking for Richo. It's a good ball. Richo needs to get there, and he does. Asude is onside. Got can he get it. a shot off? Winds it up. Jacko makes the save. He's done what he needs to do there for me. It was the right thing to take it on first time. Didn't have an option in the box and he's hit the target. That's all you can do. Okay. Could have maybe tested Jacko a little bit more, but he's done the fundamentals, I think. Burkane finds Bertu, whose pass is wayward. He's put a lot of pressure on Ricky Evans, who's got Josh chasing him. Josh makes it. Can he finish? Round the keeper. Oh, and he does it. Oh, my gosh. Joshua Asude takes his moment. I mean, we were just talking about it. He has those moments where he's unplayable. He's looked really composed there. He's recovered so well from the penalty miss. That is long gone from the memory now. What a great little finish for Joshua Asude. Ricky Evans looking over the top of Sean Alexander. George Smith gets there. He's got Falola in the box. Sam Raj Gill making his way in there as well. Still George Smith. Little chop on the left foot. Drills it across. I think it was a pass. If it was a shot, it was way off target. It's difficult, though, as a centre-back in this final because you're looking to impress. He knows he's going to get chance from set pieces. Defensively, he's just got to do the simple things, hasn't he, really? Yeah, I think you're right. And he's got to hope his team do, do the business for him going forward. Well, here we go. But Alvy Keith now could punish for the Blues. One all currently. Can he get a shot off against Jacko? He hits it. Deflected by Lewis Burkane, I think. There is, a, there is a caveat to that, though. As much as you do need to shine and impress. As the half-time whistle goes there, currently one all between Joshua Sude's team and Izu's team. And the goal scorers, Joshua and Izu. Unbelievable final so far, Seb. Absolutely incredible. I mean, everything we could have hoped for. A goal from both of them. A missed penalty. Moments of brilliance. I can't wait to see the second half score in store. Well, the boys now are going to give their team some team talks, maybe change some things up. And we look forward to another big 45 minutes. After that, of course, Devs will crown our winner. See you in a second. All right, boys. I think it's been a great first half overall. Obviously, it's not been perfect and there's things we can improve on. I just want to communicate a bit more and there's, there's, we've got more gears than us boys, I promise you we've got more gears and there's definitely goals for the taking. Bit more ruthless, bit more clinical in what we're doing and I think we've got this boys, yeah? I feel like we're doing alright, we need to be a bit clinical up front. Um, apart from that, keep working for each other and hopefully we can get a win. Izu's yellow team are going to get us underway for the second half. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by professional footballer and former Hashtag Academy winner, Scott Pollock. Yeah, pleasure to be here. How are you feeling about the fact that in a few hours' time you're no longer going to be the reigning academy winner? Um, <laughs> when you put it like that, pretty gutted. But um, be the first winner. You'll be the first, the first winner, winner. Yeah. Um, well, hope hopefully it's my my predictions. So. Off camera, you almost said a different name. 
yeah. who didn't even get past the next episode. So I think he made a good choice. <laughs> yeah. That, that person will remain nameless. <laughs> Speaking of Josh Asude, though, he's done well to get a, a cross opportunity there. Couldn't find a teammate, though. Looks for the one two of Samraj. He's continued his run, Izu. Samraj looks to slot in George Smith on this right side up against Jack Harrison here. George does well. Likes that little chop move. Goes back to Samraj Gill. Gill up against George Valentine. Returns it to George. George whips it in, looking for Izu, who gets ahead on it. It's a high one. Oh, and it's off the woodwork there. Chance here. Lee Hurst it. Oh, he's trying to. Is that nutmeg on Izu there? I don't think it's a penalty because he, he didn't have anywhere to go, Lee. But I think he put yeah, it for his legs. Great bit of skill. <sighs> Over to Jack Martin. Who knows how deep into the process he would have gone if he'd been able to make the second episode, you know? He's one of the most impressive players in the first uh, trials. And we had to stop using him because he couldn't make the episodes. But it looks like he's one of the most impressive players. As Izu, his touch gets away from him here. Richo trying to get a shot off in the box. Izu recovers. Izu did enough. It's always going to be difficult for the second half to live up to the hype of the first half with goals from both finalists. Lee with a great pass for Asude, who gets oh. there before Jacko. He's got a score. He does! It's another goal for Asude. Talk to me about that pass oh from Lee Hurst. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure who it hit behind, but that was an unbelievable pass right in the right in the path of Joshua Asude. And yeah, the pace just speaks for itself with that. That's Done Jacko twice now. And twice. I mean, you can't even blame Jacko for it. He's nah, coming he's, up against the man he's too, so fast. He's too quick, yeah. Poor kick from Lawler. Sean Alexander's... Oh, he's oh. messed up the back pass. Giving George Smith a chance for his first hashtag goal. Oh, oh and it's off the post. And the blushes for both Lawler and Alexander have been saved. Ross Gleed wins the 50-50. Looks to unleash Asude. Up against Jack Martin. Asude pushes him off the ball. Still Asude up against Izu now. Still Josh on the ball. Plays it inside. Good pass. Ross Gleed. Big save from Jacko. Joshua Asude. Is Literally he make anything out of anything, really. Lee Hurst is looking to find Asude. And he's going to make it. Up against Jack Martin again. Kicks it around him. Asude is getting things done. George oh. Valentine. His touch is getting away from him right now. Asude has done enough to have numerous assists this game. Yeah, it could have been a di totally different game in the first half. If um, with Izzy shot, I think it was, that got blocked. It could have been 2-1 up and um, controlling the game, but instead it's gone the other way and Blues look like they're going to go nick another. Triple H for the chance here up against Sam Raj Gill. Triple H on the ball. Chance to finish. Oh, Jacko oh, squeezed past oh. him. And I think Izzy's <laughs> kicked it out. The goal moved. I don't think the brakes have been put on the wheels. But Triple H got the ball past him. And Izu, I think, with a massive goal line clearance, Scott. I'm not sure. Really. I thought it was in. I thought it was certainly in. But somehow Lino's I think Izu's, Izu's got it back. Ricky Evans. Looking for Dugan. Dugan doing well. Can he deliver on the left foot? Finds George Smith. Still George. Waiting for the right time to shoot. Instead, good pass over to Charlie Morley. He's on the right side now. Dinky towards oh. the back post. Isa of all people looking to win that <laughs> header. Just too high for him. Izu intercepting there against the Sude. Lee Hurst it looking to pick him out. And that's become an apparent game plan of the Blues now. Just try and get a Sude through. You've got to say, it's the first game of pre-season for a lot of players here. It's always going to be a difficult one fitness-wise. But it's great timing for us to do the series because it means the winner can go straight into pre-season. Isa has picked out a wonderful pass to Samraj Gill to level it up. He goes for the dink against Lawler. He's, he's still going. Still going, Gil. Another chance here, perhaps. Oh, Gil with the footwork. Is he taken down? Ref says no. You've got to give Samraj a lot of props there. He's done really well to get into that position. Showed a bit of composure, but maybe too much. Louis Lawler's done well, stood his ground. It's a decent save for Louis Lawler. He's had probably not his best night so far. Spinner. Plays it into Asude. Nice little pass and turn from Asude. Spinner's got it now. Look at the pace. Asude gets it back. Up against Izu once again. Plays it straight to Theo Baker. Who takes the touch. Hits the shot. Wide of the post. Once again, Josh has found a way of bringing another player into play there. He's made a good decision. And we've just seen more times than not, when he gets the ball, he leads to something happening. The infamous drag. Has anyone else noticed how easy he drags his foot just before he plays the pass sometimes? And he plays it straight to a blue player. And it's a ball from Jack Harrison. Could find a Sude. Takes his touch. Can he get the shot off? Jacko makes a save. George Valentine. Jacko again has done well. 
to gone. hold on to the... Is it gone in? It's gone, oh, in. It's gone in. It's oh. crept in. My angle made it look like a save there. George Valentine's put it in, has he? I think it will go down as a George Valentine goal. If not, it's going to be a Jacko own goal unless he's hit it against himself. But I think that would be a little bit harsh. Tom Williams. Looking to play all the way back to Sean Alexander. It might be a stitch up. Once again, George Smith is through on goal. He had one chance like this already this game. He hit the post. Would he score this one? He goes round the keeper. Got to put it away. He does. We see George Smith's first goal in a hashtag United shirt. And the game is now 3-2. I am really pleased for George Smith there. He's looked like such an accomplished player every time I've seen him put on the hashtag shirt so far. He's come close to scoring, but he's now got that goal. I mean, it's not a competitive goal, but it is important, I think, as a striker to get that first goal. Hopefully one of many he will score for this club. What does it mean for Izu here? Has he seen his team get just within close distance of a, a potential equaliser now? And then he won more goal. You'd have to say the Blues have been more dominant in this second half. And Asude looking again. to go for again, oh. but a strong challenge from Izu. A strong but fair challenge means that he stops the threat early. Is that how you handle him? Sean Alexander up against George Smith. He uses his body very well to get the ball back. Is he going to play it back? He does. He finds Samraj Gill. He started to really run the midfield for the Yellows. Lovely one-two between Isa and Samraj. And George Smith gets that shot off early. Man, that flown in. Goodness me, would have had a final explosive end to this game. Oh, it's a chance here, George Smith. Jack Harrison recovers. Oh, my God. Lawler's kick has let him down there once again. Jack Harrison, I mean, I think that's a penalty, personally. Could chance, be. though, for a goal. Ice has got to put it away. Oh, it should be 3 all. Did the hard bit there. Louis Lawler's blushes have been saved once again, then. Can't be long left. Sun is setting on the Hashtag Academy Series 2. Second chance. We're about to have our winner crowned. What a series it's been. What a place to play out the final here at Fulham. And there is the final whistle. Joshua Asude's team have won 3-2 against Izu's boys in blue. But that doesn't mean that Asude's won the series just yet. Devs has to decide that. We're going to go over to them shortly. But a few words from you, Seb, on the game. I mean, we've been, we've been absolutely treated to a fantastic game there. To see goals from both the finalists, you know, you couldn't really make it up. And we could have seen more. Uh, very, very enjoyable. Great to see some of the other lads coming back, getting involved. Always another opportunity to impress Devs. And I'm telling you right now, this is not a done deal. We haven't really known. Devs has not really given us an option of really giving his opinion thus far. This, it could go either way, Spen. Okay, fantastic final. Couldn't have asked for more. So well done to both our finalists, Izu and Josh. Well done to all the Academy boys and the hashtag first team lads who put in a performance first game of pre-season. Many more games to come, of course, in uh, preparation for our new season, Step 5 non-league football. The question is, who will be joining the squad with a £5,000 contract. Will it be Joshua Asude or will it be Izu? Boys, that is the Hashtag Academy Series 2 final done. How was the game for you, first of all? Tough. Um, I can tell that I've been out for a whole year. It was very rusty. Kicks. First goal, disappointing, but I'm happy for Josh. As I say, we're the boys that got the win, so that's the main thing. Fingers crossed he's got the win for himself as well. So. Yeah, I mean, for me, like I say, clearly a lot of cobwebs to dust off in pre-season. Um, knackered from yesterday as well, but um, I mean, yeah, picking up off Louis, I mean, Josh was outstanding. Like, full credit to him because he, he was class. Thought uh, we started well, obviously gave away a penalty in that, but I thought it played quite decent, to be fair. Yeah, full credits to both Josh and Izu. I think they've done outstanding that there. Izu was solid, got himself a goal as well. Um, knowing that he's playing centre-back, it's good to get a goal from the set-piece. Josh bagged himself too. Fair play to both of them. I think Dev's got a really hard job um, decision to make. Fair play. Um, they should both be proud of, them, proud of themselves. It was a good, it was a good pre-season workout and also um, a good final showpiece for the two boys. Played at a really good tempo. Um, obviously, I was on on Joshua's side. Then um, I thought he's a pace, was a real threat all game, and his work rate. And playing against Izu, he's a real threat in both boxes. Heads everything, puts his heart on the line. So, guys are going to have a tough decision. I thought it was a good game. Um, played at a real high intensity, um, first game of pre-season. And look, yeah, it was for the two boys and I thought it was played in the right manner. It was a really attacking game. Could have been 10-10 in the end of it, but um, a narrow defeat, 3-2, but all in all, a really good game. So first time I've sort of seen them in the flesh. Uh, obviously Josh, very quick. Um, <clears throat> obviously if you had to liken him to a player in our team, it would be Triple H, but he's probably better, let's be honest with him. Uh, got two great goals today. Um, and like listen to whatever anyone was saying to him he listened took it on board at the end when we were 3-2 up 
he sort of came back, wasn't sort of going forward and everything like that and doing his defensive duties, which was really good. And then, yeah, Izu, solid at the back, scored a great, great header. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah, very commanding, like coming forward with the ball, likes to bomb on and attack more, and obviously he's a massive presence. Uh, and so when you've obviously got, when we're marking George and stuff like that, some big guys, then we've got Izu bombing on as well. It's sort of quite a handful. Who are you backing to win the series? I'm backing my main man, Josh. He's my, he's my captain. Got back my captain. Well, I've got, I've got back my captain easy, haven't I? I mean, the result wasn't there, but all in all, I mean, you had some really big moments, clearance off the line, um, you know, drives forward with the ball, got a goal for him for, for a defender's point of view, but it's going to be tight. I thought, it is for, for a neutral anyway, it's both, both players getting a goal, um, loads of chances in the whole game, missed penalty. Um, yeah, I thought it was a great game. Uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. I mean, took L this time, but I thought overall I had a strong performance. The team did well. At moments, we played some really great football as well. So, like, I'm happy with the overall performance. I feel like my team did good. Couldn't ask for a better team. Got the result and I'm happy. We know why we're here. What would it mean to you to win this whole process? Oh, I mean, it would mean so much just to go through everything, all the, all the challenges, get where I am now. I mean, it's, it's so close, isn't it? So I think to not make it at this point will be definitely, uh, will be gutting. Um, like I've said in previous episodes, it will mean the world. Just to be part of this football club and a family will mean a lot to me. So hopefully I go all the way. OK, guys, the game has finished. Dev's obviously has had a chance to watch that and many other things throughout the series. We're going to have a little chat now, then obviously, Dev's, you'll be choosing your winner. But what did you think of the game? It was a great game. Crazy, I think. Real representation of the series, particularly the two guys involved, really ebbed and flowed, and it's kind of been like that from from the beginning of the process. So, yeah, I thought a really good game to finish on. Yeah, fantastic, lots of entertainment. Um, I'd love to get your thoughts on the two players, obviously Josh and Izu. You know, what are their strengths? What are their weaknesses? We haven't heard too much from you on the players throughout the series because we're wanting to keep it kind of quiet because we want to see who you're going to choose as the winner. And uh, obviously, what you think hashtag need as well? Yeah, so that's obviously got to be a, a, the main factor in, in, in the decision or one of the main factors. Um, I think they've both come out of the, the process with huge amounts of credit. They've, they are, I think, deserved finalists. Um, if we're looking at them as, as individuals and what their strengths are, um, we've got Izu who um, I think shown real good leadership qualities throughout for a defender and a, a fantastic threat at the other end of the pitch as, as, as we've seen tonight. He's composed when, when in possession on the ball. Uh, and, and obviously he's, he's really good in the air. I think if I'm looking at areas where there's maybe some question marks on him that he needs to develop more, I think um, particularly when you've played against a stronger opposition, I think he's um, been caught out of position a few times, gets sucked in by, by clever forward play. Um, and I think George Smith and Neil Richmond have both given him a bit of a hard time at times during that. But what he has displayed is good powers of recovery as well. So. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's been really good, really impressive. And then you've got Josh, um, again, different position, a uh, huge threat going forward. Uh, got a ridiculous pace about him that gets you up the pitch. Tonight we've seen uh, end product from him that we haven't always seen I I in the series. So um, I think I've kind of said before, he's, he's like that rough, rough diamond, if you like, he, he needs, needs, needs moving out. I've got a really, really difficult decision to make. I came in to, tonight really not knowing um, and honestly quite happy for, for either of the guys to, to win. And tonight's thrown up even more kind of questions, but good, good questions for me. Um, it's made it more difficult in, in, in one sense, but a lot easier in the other because I actually feel like real winner out of this competition is going to be the football club. Yeah, well, that's a great position for us to be in, but. Devs obviously has got to choose the winner. Shall we go and tell him who's won? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Lads, this is it. The final moment of the Hashtag Academy second season. Uh, Devs is about to reveal who's won the contract with Hashtag United. Before that, though, I just want to say well done to both of you for being fantastic uh, applicants. Crazy game we just saw out there. It's been a pleasure to meet you both, but the time is now. Devs, who's won the contract with Hashtag United? Well, first I'd just like to echo what Spen has said. I think you've both been brilliant right the way through the process and tonight um, has kind of been a real reflection of that as well. Um, but the winner of the contract with us is... Josh.
Josh. Well done, Josh. Well done, Josh. Um, I, I would like to add though, Izzo, you've been absolutely fantastic and I can't stress how difficult a decision it, it, it's been to make, so well done. Well done, Josh, congratulations. We're gonna take a look at Josh's best moments now. I feel relieved because when I first came I was stressed, I was shaking, nervous, but towards the end I felt confident and the coaches picked me to go through so I'm happy. Who has the most appearances ever for Hashtag United? Ryan Adams. Correct. Can he finish? Round the keeper! Oh, and he does it! Oh my gosh! For Asude, who gets oh. there before Jacko? He's got to score! He does! Who are we officially saying we have to remember the name of? I'm going to go with number 84, Joshua Asude. You heard it from Scott as the final whistle blows. Remember the name, Joshua Asude. Lovely. Right, I'm here with Izu. Izu. Unlucky pal, you've done so well, you got so far and you just unfortunately not won the contract. What are you thinking right now? Yeah, obviously gutted. I mean, um, put a lot into that game. Um, I thought I had some good moments as well, but obviously, shouts to Josh, you've done very well. Two goals, you know, can't really complain with that. Talk to me about your future plans. I know you've just found out, obviously, about the series right now, but if there was an opportunity to come up at Hashtag, what would your, your thoughts be now? You know, you're not going to win the series and also just football in general. Yeah, no, if a chance came up at Hashtag, I'd happy take it. I mean... I've come so far, obviously not to win it is, is, is a gutting feeling, but I mean, I've, I think I find a home here, so I'd, I'd happily stay. Well, Izzy, look, it's been a pleasure to get to know you, mate. I think you've got an incredible football uh, experience so far and the journey you've been on. I hope it comes to a, a successful end and you achieve everything you want to achieve. So hopefully see you again soon. Yeah, thank you very much. Guys, I am here with Hashtag Academy Season 2 winner Joshua Asude. How does that feel? Um, buzzing. I can't wait to start pleasing training with the lads, start playing matches. So hopefully it's a... Uh, Good start to a good career at Hashtag. Definitely, I mean, I think we've seen a very uh, impressive Asude performance with what we've seen throughout the, the series so far, all seem to come through in that game. Great moments, obviously finishing with two goals. And is that the sort of Asude we can hope to see in the league next year? Yeah, definitely. Um, I missed the pen, but I didn't let that get to me. I got two goals in the end, so I couldn't ask for a better result. Mate, you did fantastic, well done. And we'll see you soon in a Hashtag shirt. Well, guys, that brings to a close the second series of the Hashtag Academy. It's genuinely one of the most enjoyable things I've been involved in on YouTube. I really like doing it, meeting all the new people, introducing new faces to you guys watching the Hashtag videos. I hope you have enjoyed it. I think we've got a really worthy winner in Joshua Asude. Can't wait to see what he can do in the Hashtag team moving forward into next season. I want to say a massive thanks, obviously, to uh, Adidas Glitch for making it all possible and partnering with the series. Wouldn't have been possible without them. And obviously, Josh has not just got the 5K contract, he's also got the, uh, the ambassadorial partnership with Adidas Glitch to look forward to as well. Also, big thanks to Visa UK. Thanks to their investment in the women's game. They're giving uh, Josh another great opportunity. He's going to get to go to the FIFA Women's World Cup final in France with our very own Lewis Preston, Theo Baker and pro footballer Carla Humphrey. Great opportunity for Josh. Well earned. And thank you to Visa UK for that one. So all that remains to be said is a massive thank you to you guys for watching this series not just this series but the first Academy series all the content we make here at Hashtag United none of the stuff we do would be possible if it wasn't for your continued support so we really really appreciate it let us know in the comments below if you want to see a third season of the Hashtag Academy and let us know any of your thoughts on the series hopefully you've dropped a like on the video and you've subscribed to the channel if not why not do it now get the notification bell turned on we've got some big big videos coming in a very very exciting season so we'll see you on another video soon until then don't forget to hashtag it <laughs>